Stadium in the heart of the nation's capital to watch the Washington Redskins go into a powwow with the visiting Chicago Bears. In the first period, the Bears hustle into the Indian Reservation and quarterback Steve Lamanick pitches the pass in the flat, complete to George Giulianic, who spins to the Redskins 46. On the next play, Lamanick hands the ball off to halfback Billy Stone, who swings to his left, finds plenty of wide open spaces, and scampers for 32 yards down to the Redskins 14. Then John Dotley turns, slams it in reverse, and blasts for six yards. At this point, the Redskins massacre three bear line charges. So George Blanda splits the uprights for the field goal that gives Chicago a three-point edge. In the second period, it's the Redskins ball on their own 41 with the ageless Sammy Ball back to pass. He looks, he throws, complete to George Thomas. Thomas is hit, loses the ball, and Brad Rowland recovers for Chicago. Now with the ball in the Redskins 38, the Bears' great quarterback Johnny Lujak connects with George Gulianic, who places the paw in the face of Deal Farris and scoots up the far sidelines to put the ball on the Washington five-yard strike. Florida's Chuck Huntsinger picks up the five remaining yards with little trouble, and it's Chicago 10, Washington nothing. With only two minutes remaining in the first half, the Bears come stalking into Redskin territory again. On a pitch out, John Dopley picks up 20 yards, putting the ball on the Redskin 38. Days later, Steve Dominic is back in the game and heaved a long pass downfield. Gene Schroeder is there to wrap it up on the Redskins 7. Dominic again drops back, lobs the ball over the middle. Don Kin has it and drops into the end zone. Chicago 17, Washington nothing at the halftime intermission. Regardless of the score, these Washington lovelies can still find something to dance about. Out of the third quarter, Bears ball on the own 30. Julie Rakovich swings to his left, heads up field, but the action gets rough and tumble. Rakovich fumbles, and the Redskins big John Batacheski dives in to recover. The midfield, the Oklahoma mule train, Neon Heat, lowers his head, flies to the Chicago 40. The Redskins appear determined to do something about that lopsided scoreboard. Bob Dewey on the pitch out, gets behind some mighty downfield blocking, blows all the way to the Bears 19 before he's crumpled up. The Redskins are still on the warpath. Bob Good dives into the Bear line to make it first down on the Chicago 7. Now the Redskins have four downs to put it across. First, Heath is piled up at the line of scrimmage. Second down, Good attempts to sweep right in, but Bear tackle Collin comes out of nowhere to break it up. Third down, four yards from a touchdown. The Redskins send Goode into the line for a two-yard pickup. Fourth down, bare linebacker Don Kent quickly snuffs off Leon Heath's attempt to flank the line. Chicago holds, the mighty goal line stands, and the scoreboard remains unchanged. Moments later, it's the Bears in punt formation. Ex-Ohio Stater, Curly Morrison, sends a high wobbling kick upfield. Bill Dudley has it, and he hasn't, and the Bears recover at midfield. It doesn't take the Bears long to capitalize on this break for a series of line plunges who moves the ball all the way down to the Redskins 12. Then Julie Rakovich weaves his way through the line into the Redskins secondary, takes an underclaim in the Redskins reservation. Near the end of the game, the Bears add a field goal to make the final score Chicago 27, Washington nothing. 